everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So today's video is going to be the complete makeover of our master bathroom. We've been working on this bathroom for a total of six months now. We did all of the work ourselves except for the tile install. So it's been a very long process. We're very excited to finally be finished with this bathroom. But before we get started with this complete master bathroom makeover, I just want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video. So today's sponsor is Gree, and I'm going to be sharing with you all about their dehumidifier. This dehumidifier can remove up to 50 pints of water every 24 hours. Lower humidity in your house allows your AC systems to work more efficiently because dry air is easier to change temperature than moist and humid air and it does also have a humidity sensor so it will automatically start and stop according to the humidity in your house it's also equipped with an auto shutoff and an auto restart and this dehumidifier does have an energy star rating so if you're in the market for a dehumidifier I will have the link for this one down below and a big thank you to Gree for sponsoring this video okay so we are gonna start this video all the way back at the very beginning when we first started the major renovations on this house and I'll just take you through the whole process for a couple of quick minutes here just to remind you how far this bathroom has come we do have several episodes on this bathroom where we take you into detail about the whole renovation process so I'm not going to go into too many details here but I do want to just quickly show some of this footage just to show you how hard we've worked on this bathroom. And then after I show that, I will show the new footage of us completely finishing the bathroom. We decorate everything, hang a mirror and a light fixture and a blind. And then at the very end of the video, I will show the official before and afters of this bathroom makeover. It is a dramatic transformation. You do not want to miss it. So stay tuned until the very end of the video to see those before and after. After clips okay so this was back in March 2020 I think it was um, on demo day when we demoed the rest of the house we came back here to the bathroom and we demoed out the closet that was here and this wall and just opened up this space so that we could put in a freestanding tub and then we had our contractor close up the wall there and the ceiling and patch everything up we cleaned up the bathroom and then we didn't touch this bathroom for many months and we just worked on the the rest of the house save this bathroom until this past spring we started working on this bathroom and now you'll get to see a few minutes of all the work we've done in this bathroom over the last six months we kind of forget how much work we've done in here until we go back and look at all this footage and just see how far it has come seeing us finishing demoing out the bathroom we took out the vanity the mirror the shower the trim basically gutted the entire bathroom and like I said earlier we wanted to put a freestanding tub over here in this area of the bathroom so Jalen had to rent a jackhammer jackhammer up the concrete here to put in a drain and as he was jackhammering we came across an old shower underneath of the concrete so that made that process a whole lot easier for him and once that drain was complete we got back to work work on the shower here.
made so many trips to floor and decor over this bathroom renovation, trying to pick out tiles, getting samples, finally buying the tile for the shower, which ended up taking me two hours to officially decide on the tile I was going to buy for the shower. It just can be a little bit overwhelming when you have so many options. We're grateful to have a store like Floor & Decor that has so many tile options, but it does get a little bit overwhelming, but we're really happy with the tile that we chose for the shower. And we did also end up getting our flooring from Floor & Decor as well. So once Jalen had the shower prepped for the tile, we hired somebody to come in and tile the shower, grout everything, which we're so glad that we did. We did this whole entire bathroom renovation ourselves, except for this tile shower, which we're really glad that we just hired out. Now he's installing that flooring that we got from Floor & Decor and this is 100% waterproof wide plank vinyl flooring. So we don't have to worry about anything at all. It's 100% waterproof and we wanted to bring in wood into this bathroom somehow. Originally we were going to do it with a vanity but then we ended up just deciding to do vinyl wood flooring in here and we just love how it warmed up the bathroom. And here we're working on our little half accent wall around where our freestanding tub is going to go. The color that I painted on there is Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. And then the color on the walls in the bathroom is White Dove. Okay, so now we are caught up to last week and this past week we've been working at completely finishing up this bathroom, starting off by adding a large mirror over the vanity. I ordered this mirror from Wayfair. I'll put a link for it down below. We're very impressed with it. It was a pretty good price and it seems like good quality. We've got a 72 inch vanity in here and this mirror is right around 71 inches. I had thought about doing two mirrors in here, one over each sink, but I ultimately just decided to go with one big mirror and I'm so glad that I did. It really helps to open up the bathroom just having that really big mirror on this wall. light fixture that we ordered for this vanity is not going to get here until next week but I didn't want to delay this video so we just stuck our light fixture up here from our guest bathroom for this video it's obviously a lot smaller than the new light fixture is going to be we got I think it's either a four or five bulb light fixture for up here so it's more of a size that will fit this vanity but the guest bathroom light fixture 
works for this video until we get the other one and we'll show the other one in future video once it gets here. Jalen's hanging up a shade from Lowe's for this window here. I couldn't decide on a color in the store, so I just bought both of the colors, and then we ended up picking the lighter color, and I'll just return the darker one. I thought maybe we'd go with the darker one because of the flooring, but the lighter one does match the light fixture over the tub a lot better. It's got some gray tones in it, which goes with the tile. Okay, so now it's time to decorate the bathroom. I got quite a few items here and I'm probably not going to use them all, but I wanted to have a variety just because we do live over an hour from town. And so I just wanted to have options while I was decorating and then I can just return anything that I don't use. But some of these items I found, I do want to use in other areas of my house. I found a lot of items that were my style and I did also need a lot of basic items for this bathroom, like a trash can, toilet bowl cleaner, um, washcloths, all of that type of things this bathroom also needed as well. I got some bath salts from Home Goods to put in this jar from At Home. I thought this was a really unique glass jar. It's got this wooden ball with the leather strap that sits right on top of it. I thought this would be pretty over here on the shelves. That big basket is going to be our laundry basket and I ordered a laundry bag off of Amazon to keep inside there so that it'll be easier to take the laundry out and also the laundry won't damage the basket at all. I did get a squeegee to keep hung in our shower because that was the highest recommendation that I got for keeping shower doors clean was to just keep a squeegee in there and wipe down the shower doors after each shower. We were going to put a teak or bamboo bench on this end of the shower over here but they are quite expensive expensive ranging from about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars so I just got this white ceramic stool on clearance at TJ Maxx for thirty dollars and it fits perfect in this corner here and will work great for the shower now I'm adding a rug and I had two options here this one I really loved the colors and the pattern it was a three by five which I thought might be a little bit too big but I still wanted to give it a try and it just ended up being too wide it looked funny because I had to have 
some of it underneath of the vanity in order to make it fit so I just had to wrap that back up and went with this thinner runner rug right here that I got from I believe it was home goods Okay, so now it's time for the best part of the video, which is the before and the afters. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and supporting our channel and following along as we've been renovating this bathroom for these last six months. You all have followed along for every step of this journey and it's been a very long journey that we are so glad to be done with. We're so happy to be done with this bathroom. As you've seen, we've done a lot of work in here, especially Jalen. So this just makes us so happy to finally be finished and thank you all so much for following along on the journey and we will see you in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye!